Well, as work begins on the reimagined East Bank, affordability is a big focus. Metro officials shared a lot of new information today on how they hope to create an East Bank for all Nashvilleians, not just the tourists and not just the wealthy. We've seen the designs. We've even seen the construction start. But today, we learned who the new East Bank is being built for. And what the community really wanted loud and clear was a mixed income neighborhood, a place for all Nashvilleans. Metro Chief Development Officer Bob Mendez unveiled what has been months of negotiating with the developer, the Fallon Company. I want to underscore the commitments we've gotten from the Fallon Company on affordable housing are unprecedented f compared to anything Metro's done for any of its previous development um, agreements for other parcels of land. A cornerstone of the negotiation is housing affordability. In the 30 acres surrounding the stadium, 1,550 residential units will be affordable. Two entire buildings will be dedicated solely to affordable housing, 60 to 80 percent of the area's median income. And the remaining East Bank buildings must make 10 percent of its units affordable for decades to come. And then the most important piece of the whole thing is that the affordability will last for the full 99 years of our leases with the Fallon Company. And we've never had affordability that is beyond, I think, 25 years. Metro also doesn't want the East Bank to be an extension of Lower Broadway's party scene. The East Bank will limit the number of bars and hotels, and short-term rentals will be banned in hopes of making the East Bank a diverse Nashville neighborhood. As much as we value our Broadway tourism zone, um, what the folks, what the community wants on the East Bank is, is a neighborhood and not just an extension of uh, the party downtown.